Mmm, this is fun. There's a camera hidden in the book. What? Hi, friend. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> Yo, whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It always, it's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on a watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Not my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunter fanatic. Hey, actually. I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro? <laughs> you know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. <laughs> what if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Rec recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! <laughs> You are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and bo boondoggle. <laughs> you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! <laughs> Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me... I have to do so much just to get some recognition. <laughs> wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> well, that sucked. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. A fishing rod. It's a fishing rod. Thanks. Fixed to the ground. Reel it in. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Oh. Okay, you know what, that was actually kind of a funny joke. Uh oh. So, as I was saying about Undyne. Oh my god, is that a human? Oh, uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh! Sans, I finally did it! And I will... I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Ahem. <coughs> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that won't well. There's some narration in this cardboard box. You observe the well-grounded sentry station. <laughs> Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was a very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <laughs> oh. Oh. Doggo can't seem to find anything. <laughs> you pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. <laughs> My brother has a very special attack. 
If you see a boob attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign when you see a stop sign. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? With fighting, think about blue stop signs. Oh. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. <laughs> excuses, excuses! Oh ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles! I think you will find this one quite shocking! For you see, this is an invisible electricity maze! When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap! Sounds like fun! Because the amount of fun you'll pro you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. <laughs> okay, you can go ahead now. <laughs> Silence! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> now hold this, please. <laughs> okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. <laughs> you solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother's hands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah. Will he slide backwards? <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. <laughs> I don't know. Go there. Yay! It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a... Snow decahedron. <laughs> Yemen! I hope you're ready for. Sans! Where's the puzzle? It's right there. On the ground. Trust me. There's no way they can get past this one. <laughs> Monster Kids Word Search. Sans! That didn't do anything! Whoops. <laughs> I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumbo is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that was easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Junior Jumbo, without a fraction of a doubt. Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent. If they also find Junior Jumbo so difficult. <laughs> I am, I'm not gonna lie, this game's charm is incredible. Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman. White rating, can be yellow rating. On suspicious smell, puppy. Blue rating, smell of rolling around. Weird smell, humans. Green rating, destroy all at co- Why was the green, why was green red? Wait, it's cause the dog's colorblind. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly cheaped again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. Uh oh. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're not, a, if you're a smell, identify your smell. <laughs> hmm. Here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate, eliminate you. Ah. Dog Amy Dogarisa. The dog sniff you again, but you smell just as weird. Oh, I get it. I get it. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human to humans. Dogs can pet other dogs? A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you hope I was about a spaghetti? Really? Wowee! You resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me? Fred not human, I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he will do would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. 
Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Wow, you solved it! And you did it all without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. <laughs> I freaking love him. Easily ma- Oh, hi, there you are. Hey! <laughs> it is the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see, these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. <laughs> they will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have a fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to you, Next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. <laughs> Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you'd like. How about that? Understand? Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. <laughs> When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that will never have been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Why is my outline brown while yours is black? It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. Oh. Oh. That's another one of these guys. Oh. <laughs> it's the greater dog. The greater dog is seeking affection. Pet! Curls up into your lap as it's pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up! It's so excited! Ow! Ow! Oh. TLC? Greater dog is too tired to play. Oh! Not exactly my greatest moment. You know, running into the thing you're supposed to stand still for. I hope I'm not too far. Oh! Oh, hi, doggy. Nice bridge. It's really long. Oh, well, that checks out. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! <laughs> what are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Nyeh! Heh! Heh. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Oh! There's no way this could go wrong. Oh. Oh, it's a Papyrus fight, isn't it? Human. Allow me to tell you some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. <laughs> okay, I did not see that one coming. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what it's like having lots of friends. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not! 
You shall not be lonely. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your. No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's papyrus. <laughs> the newest member of the royal guard. Papyrus walks away. Check. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, nyeh heh -he. <laughs> Papyrus is trying hard to play cool. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date later. Oh. Oh! You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> oh, the music. You're blue now. Perhaps is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later. Okay, I see how this works now. I see how this works now. Would anyone like me as sincerely as you? Unlikely. You are, like, literally the reason I played this game, Papyrus. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I love Papyrus as a kid. Oh, I love everything. Hey! I love Papyrus so much. Papyrus whispers, yeah. Behold, my special attack! Oh. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. My <laughs> virus is getting ready for a regular attack. <sighs> he has an absolutely normal attack. Ah, I didn't jump. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, dog! Cool! Dude! Oh. <laughs> oh! I just have to keep holding up. Okay. Uh, well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Oh, oh, oh. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend quantity, my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? <laughs> You want to be friends with me? Well then, I, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for that. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit a friend zone. <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward if you, until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh, to reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. <laughs> I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyways, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> I love this game so much. Impressed? I increased the height of the sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Have a look-see. What? 
Catch that meddling canine! Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! <laughs> I love this game, man. It's it's so dumb. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower. <laughs> Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hut. What the? Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human! I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! <laughs> R wait, really? Is that how this... Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. No! Your dating power! Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great virus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes under my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! Well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you! Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh, so wrong! This is a, a, any old plain pasta. This is an artian's work! Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ah! No! No! It's over 9,000! Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. <laughs> Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought it was because you flirted with me. That was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you... I've only drawn you deeper into your immense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like I'll and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. <laughs> And hey, someday, you'll find somebody as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll love you several for a second best. Ah, <laughs> uh, this game might actually be one of the best things I've ever played. <clears throat> oh my gosh, doing the Papyrus voice shot my throat. <laughs>